So many times we hear about implants in cattle and, and Dave, kind of walk us through, what is an, an implant? They're uh, naturally occurring and synthetic versions of steroid drugs that were approved by the Food and Drug Administration, actually starting back in the 1950s, and they've been approved ever since. Uh, the three that, you, that are used in cattle for implants are estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone, and they're synthetic versions. What does that mean for, for the, 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 the beef producer that's, that's kind of thinking about it and they're thinking, well, it, it, it's a little more money that I have to put into the, to the animal? And they, you know, for, so if we, if we restrict our conversation to that implant that's delivered at branding time, mm -hmm. you know, those are going to cost around $1.25 to $1.50. You also have to have someone there that's comfortable administering the implant, and it's interesting that use of that technology has declined substantially. One reason is probably the, the administration of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people that aren't experienced with animal health uh, procedures, mm -hmm may be uncomfortable doing that. The other reason that it's declined in use is more than likely has something to do with of not uh, wanting to put that in, in a food product just, just from a public perception standpoint. So what is the impact as it, as it does enter the cow? So the FDA has to study that um, rigorously mm -hmm. and, and they, these products only get approved after they have been through a, a series of experiments to determine the impact on residue in meat. Mm -hmm. uh, so first of all, recognize that they're, they're naturally occurring hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and they're synthetic versions. Mm -hmm. For perspective, the estrogenic activity in non-implanted beef uh, off the shelf is somewhere around eight nanograms per about one pound of meat product, mm -hmm. about eight nanograms. On the other hand, if you were to sample a beef product off the shelf that had come from an implanted calf, now this would be an animal that was implanted through the finishing phase. Right. So it would have substantially more impact on residue than, than just an implant at branding time. Nevertheless, that value is about 11 nanograms per pound of meat product. Uh, milk has 65 nanograms per pound. Um, ice cream, about 3,000. Let's see, so eggs, 17,500. And soybean oil, 1 million nanograms of estrogenic activity per pound. Okay, thank you much, Dave. And for more information on that, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.